I'm Isaac Moore reporting for WEBM Boston here in Phoenix, Arizona. Earlier today, the Vice President of Officials, Dean Blandino, held a press conference in which he talked a lot about the deflate gate controversy. He said that it's actually not uncommon for a football to be taken out of the field of play, but admits that their pre-game football handling policies will be subject to review this offseason. Well, we did review what happened pre-game, and from, from everything that, that we reviewed and all the information we had is that the balls were properly tested and marked prior to the game. We're reviewing our protocol um, in terms of chain of custody. The officials do have the footballs up until about 10 minutes prior to kickoff and then they're brought out to the field. So we're reviewing that protocol and uh, and we'll certainly discuss it with the competition committee during during our meetings coming up in the next month, month and a half. During the regular season, the teams will prepare 12 footballs. Each team will prepare 12 footballs and then they will bring those footballs to the official's locker room prior to the game to be inspected. For the Super Bowl, there's actually 54 footballs per team. So we have 108 footballs that we take custody of on Friday. The teams do practice with those footballs. They prepare them. And then we take custody of those footballs on Friday. We have them in, within our control. And then they're brought to the official's locker room 30, three hours before kickoff on Sunday.